And welcome back. And now telling us what's happening today is Jesse and Justin Tuttle. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Now, if your viewers at home, they're not seeing Double, you guys are twins. Yes, we are, yes. But we're here to talk comedy. You both are right. comedians, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Right. How did you guys get in comedy? Um, well, we were both kids and we both craved attention and we never found an outlet for it. And then eventually they're like, hey, you can go on stage and people have to pay attention to you. And we're like, oh, yeah, that sounds like us. Yeah. Right. Originally, we wouldn't. We just started an open mic in Peoria because uh, we didn't want to do it in Champagne for our friends to see us for our first time was not going to happen. So <laughs> wanted to get a few times in and then we moved over to Champagne. Good, good, good. Now, you guys, uh, who are some of your inspirations, some of your favorite comedians? Um, I started out with George Carlin, was a big one for both of us. Right. Uh -huh. We always loved him. Um, but now, like, more, more current, I would say, yeah. like, Louis C.K. Jim Jeffries, Jim Norton. Uh, uh, very dirty comics, even though I yeah. don't tend to be too dirty. <laughs> my favorite yeah. ones are dirty. Okay. So. Good, good, yeah. good. So now we have a lot of big-time names, big-time talent, you know, come right here and see you right. perform. But now we want to put some, some focus and shed the light on local right. talent. Right. All right, so tell us about the event you guys have coming up. Uh, well, what we have coming up is the first CU Comedy Festival. It's going to be October 21st to the 25th, which is homecoming week, which yeah. we're really hoping to bring in some of the alumni and stuff like that to come out to the shows. Uh, but we have uh, nine shows in eight venues over five days at Canopy Club, Memphis on Main, uh, Soma Downtown, Venue 51, and plus a lot of other ones. Uh, we're going to have uh, comedians coming in from St. Louis, Chicago, Peoria, Quad Cities, and we're also going to be highlighting a lot of the University of Illinois students plus our local acts who really get out and do all the comedy clubs. So it'll be a big mix bag of people coming in. That's it. good. That's good. Now, why so many different locations? Um, we want to try to hit, uh, you know, different areas with different shows. Different shows have different themes, like one suits and ties where performers will be wearing suits and ties. It'll be a little more formal. Yeah. Uh, one's just the dirty show for people who like that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, so we try to get different venues, different feels, different environments for different shows. Yeah. And now talk about the variety of comedy people can expect. I would assume a lot of these different talents. What are some of the things people can see when they get there? Um, well, some shows are going to be cleaner than others. Some are going to be dirtier than others. You can find out on the website what those are going to be. Um, I think what's great about the champagne scene is there's such an eclectic group of comics that we have. There's really no one who does the same type of act. So some are high energy, some are low energy, some are a little dirtier, some are cleaner, some talk about current topics, some talk about just their life. So it's a big mixed bag. That's good. That's yeah. good. Well, thank you guys so much for joining Absolutely. us. Again, the first ever CU Comedy Festival is October 21st yep. through the 25th. 25th to the 25th. And you guys, if you need any information, is there a website or anything anyone can go to? Uh, yeah, CUComedy.com is where comedy. all the information is. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Again, October 21st to the 25th. Nine shows, eight days.